Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott. And you know what? We're doing a video just because I want to. Now, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to promote anything. Just me getting back to my roots a little bit by bugging a sports ball player for an autograph. And today's victim is Greg Swindell. Now, I can hear a bunch of you out there saying, Greg Swindell? Why Greg Swindell? Well, uh, last winter, I think it was last winter, I bought a lifetime family membership to 455 Club. And uh, that's a big Guardians fan club that holds these luncheons and events with players. And I'd always been interested in it, but never pulled the trigger. Well, I signed up for this thing, but I had not attended any events until a few weeks ago. Life gets in the way of having fun sometimes, you know? So uh, we're getting to the end of the season and I tell myself I really ought to go to one of these luncheons. And uh, Greg Swindell is the featured guest. So that's why Greg Swindell. And I'm not really a social butterfly and I was a little anxious about having lunch with a bunch of strangers. So I brought my security blanket, better known to you faithful viewers as Mrs. Reindeer. But besides all that, I remember Greg Swindell pretty well. He was a heck of a left-handed pitcher. The Indians ace when I was a kid, you know, he was their first round pick in 1986, an 18-game winner in 88, and an all-star in 89. You know, a pretty solid pitcher on a pretty awful ball club. And then they traded him to the Reds in 1991 for Scott Scudder, Jack Armstrong, and Joe Turek. Blech. You can't win them all, I guess, but he ended up winning a World Series as a relief pitcher for the Diamondbacks in 2001, so a nice little cap to his 17-year career. I wanted to be prepared, right? Obviously, I want him to sign this doodle for me, but in case he was signing multiple items, you know, I went looking for other stuff and I grabbed my binder with my 1980s Indians team sets and on the front cover is where I keep my uh, scorecard from the very first MLB game that I ever went to. And wouldn't you know it, Greg Swindell pitched that game. He went eight and a third, giving up four runs and he took the loss, but heck yeah, I gotta get that signed too, you know? So I'll show you all of that in a minute or two. On top of lunch and the autographs, there was also a fun little Q&A session. It was fun learning more about the Indians teams that I grew up with. And uh, I didn't have the guts to ask him why he lost that first game that I ever went to. But uh, that's probably for the best though. Bingo, bango, boingo. There's the art. Let's go get a chicken sandwich and a couple of autographs, shall we? Autograph time. You can see uh, there's two people signing, but ignore that. It's super secret. I'll get into the other guy in another video, but I'm sure some of you can figure out who he is. Uh, Greg looks well. There's the doodle. And uh, there's my scorecard. Mission accomplished. Everything worked out swimmingly and they look great. There's the doodle. And there's my program. So cool. Mrs. Reindeer was a big help and she got a couple of autographs too. We had to get the Tops kids right and uh, the 89 Tops thanks to Mr. Swindell and the 455 Club. I'm kicking myself for not going to one of these luncheons earlier. It was a ton of fun and I'm looking forward to going to more of these next summer. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Now you can go find a better video to watch and we'll see you real soon.